All right. So up here on the slide first, just want to give you a preview of how you're all going to register for an Extreme Cloud IQ account. So you can take pictures of this. You can navigate to extremecloudiq.com. It'll actually walk you through the registration process. I also have three breakout sessions after this where, where I will help you register for an account. We'll do a deeper dive of the actual interface. And you'll also walk away with a free 802.11 AX AP with a cloud license to make sure that you are enabled to learn about the cloud and also demo the cloud. So that's how you register. We're also putting together a welcome kit to help enable you learn about the cloud and make sure that you're comfortable selling this story to your end users as well. So beyond all of the slides that people have done today and all the sessions, how many times we say cloud, which will probably be in the thousands by the end of, of tomorrow, we're also putting again together Cloud IQ training, so through Dojo, we'll have some access to training sessions for you to go through. A demo script to help walk you through the interface the first few times you give a demo. And then, of course, you'll be comfortable enough to demo it on your own after that. We also have some FAQ documents, a sales playbook with some links to additional resources about the cloud. Also details on a Cloud AP SPIF, so the hardware that's already supported through Extreme Cloud IQ. And then again, further details on how to access the Extreme demo platform if you do not gain access this week while you're in Greece. So my friends in the back, if you can switch me over to my laptop up front here. You've seen a lot of slides so far, a lot of pretty pictures of, of what the cloud looks like, but I've been tasked with actually showing you the interface. So I am in Extreme Cloud IQ right now. This is a live demo, actually, of the conference here. So hopefully I'm not going to be breaking any GDPR rules, exposing data up on the main stage, but I'll ask forgiveness for that later. And uh, I was lucky enough that they gave me admin rights to the network here. So I have complete control over the network, all the access points in the room. If I see people not paying attention, I will shut down the access points so you all pay attention to me while I'm up on the stage. So I've logged into Extreme Cloud IQ. For those of you that might have been Arrowhive partners or familiar with Hive Manager, this is the Hive Manager platform now rebranded as part of the acquisition. I was also an item of the acquisition. I was at Arrowhive for the past five years, and I actually helped launch this platform, Hive Manager Next Generation, five years ago. So I hold it very near and dear to my heart. And as it moves over with the rebranding, you can see all the purple in there now. This is the new Extreme Cloud platform. So again, I have logged into this interface. This is the uh, partner conference. I am in Network 360. So this is a tool that you might have heard a couple people mention already. This is where most of our machine learning and AI type functionality lives. So I can uh, see a high level overview. These are all the access points that are actually running in this building, both here in the main demo hall, also out in the side sessions. And then I can see some status bars across the top. And that tells me if everything is functioning appropriately. So we've broken this out into devices, clients, Wi-Fi, network services, applications, and security. And I have a nice health score associated with each. We're very kind in that we color code it for you. So you can see green means good. Yellow, you know, right in the middle. There's nothing red, though. So it looks like everything's working appropriately. And then down below, I can actually map my hardware to the floor plan. So I can see here, this is where most of my access points are located in this main um, ballroom. I can actually look at a time lapse and see over the past 24 hours as people start entering and exiting the hall, I can see what we call blooms. They're red. It doesn't mean that it's bad. It just means that there's more people associating to a specific access point. So I can see the trends as they move throughout the facility. That's one of the benefits of cloud is I can collect all of my data into this platform and I can expose it in ways that is important to the network administrator. There's also ways to share this with other uh, appropriate stakeholders in your organization as well. So those were the time lapse blooms. I can also click into a particular access point and see who is connected to that AP. Again, for the sake of GDPR and privacy, I'm not going to drill down into any of these users that I don't know, but I can very easily see what their health score is, if their connection is working well, um, or if I maybe need to go in and make a change to my network based on what I see. 
I can also, again, look at these health scores across the top. And if something looks interesting, for example, the clients, which I have a, a score of 75 out of 100, I can click to gain more information. So the nice thing about this platform, Extreme Cloud IQ, is we try to put high-level information at the top. And if you want to gain access to more granular information, you can always click into that. So it is very user-friendly, and again, at the end of this preview session, but also the breakout sessions that I'm hosting later today, the goal is to make you familiar with this tool and make you comfortable with logging in and actually doing a live demo for your end users in your customer meetings. Um, again, this is a live demo of the network here, but we're also building out a partner demo network that we're going to give you access to, which you'll be able to log into and have canned data that you can show off during a meeting, so you don't have to log into your house and show off your personal data uh, if you don't want to. So I clicked into client health. This now shows me more information about clients over time. I can see things like the Wi-Fi health score versus the network health clients. 100% uh, of clients in here are actually on the 5 gigahertz spectrum for this particular access point. So that's something that you can point out. You can see the channel distribution of what channels the access points are utilizing in your network. This is also another interesting tool and a good talking point when you're giving a demo is maximum client capabilities. This shows not only how clients are connecting to the network, but what their maximum processing capabilities are. So this will show me things like, do I have AX devices in here, which I do actually have 26 devices. So quite a few of you have bought new uh, Apple iPhone 11s or Samsung ga Galaxies. That's the AX devices. A majority of them are AC, mostly two spatial streams, not a lot of multi-user MIMO capable devices. But this is a really great way to see if your network is serving your clients appropriately. And it's just one of those data points that you can access through the cloud. So Extreme Cloud IQ is not just for deployment and management and troubleshooting, but it also gathers all of these data points that's traversing your network on a day-to-day -day basis and bringing them into a single interface, which then we can use to make actionable insights or gain further data from them. So let me jump into, uh, let's see, I'll go back into manage. So I'm showing off a few of our 360 tools. So that first tool was Network 360, which again is a more holistic look at your entire network. Another tool that we have is Device 360. So let me pick a device that has quite a few users on it. This one has 58. So if I click into AP17, it's going to show me where this access point is located. And then if we give this a couple seconds to load, it will show me more data for what's happening on this specific access point. So it's going to load my floor plan. It's an AP630, which came over from Arrowhive, which is an AX access point. I can see the system information. I can see things like um, clients, client connectivity over time. We have these nice time sliders across the top that I can actually adjust the time period. We can host up to 30 days of data in here, and you can export data after that if a customer wants access to six months or a year or even three years of data. But as I drill down, I can see things like the device availability score, hardware health, configuration and firmware, um, average CPU or memory utilization. And as Nabil was mentioning with our auto RMA tools, this is where we're pulling that data from. And because, again, the cloud is bringing all of our customers' data together, even if it's anonymous, this is where we're able to create those benchmark scores of this is what's normal. And then when we detect an anomaly, that's how we can alert you that there may be a problem coming in the future. All of that data is living in these tools. So again, I'm in device 360 right now. I can move between monitoring information, so seeing what's going on with this particular piece of hardware. I can look at the wireless interfaces, the wired interfaces, so the ports that I'm actually using on a switch. Or I could jump into configure and actually make changes to this particular access point um, from this, again, device 360 tool. And it's giving me a warning notice. I'm making configuration changes at the device level, which will override the network policy. So again, it looks like you guys are paying attention, so I'll leave it alone for now. But I could go in here and shut down access points directly from this tool. Another 360 tool that we have is Client360. So I'm going to go ahead and pick on someone. And I'll probably want to choose one of my US colleagues, again, for, for GDPR. 
I see Bob sitting at the, the front table. So I'm going to click on Bob. Actually, not Bob Galt. It looks like he's trying to hide from people here. So let's let this load and see what he's been doing. So he is on an Apple device. I can see his IP address, his MAC address. Um, the last time he connected was 15 minutes ago. And I can also see what access point he's located on. So it looks like he's connecting up near the stage here. So that's high level information on the left hand side. The right hand side, I can get more granular information on his connectivity. So I can benchmark his usage, his RSSI, his noise floor over time. If there's any um, an alert or an alarm, it would show up on the time slider here. And I can also get information on his session details. So this is where I can gain information about his RSSI or his signal to noise ratio, his Wi-Fi health. Again, these are all color coded, which is nice. But we also give you a further reference point. If you see on the right hand side with the bell curve, I'm comparing his health score to other people near him in the room. So if Bob is complaining about his connectivity, I can go here and say, well, looks like your connectivity, it's, it's working well, especially compared to people near you in this ballroom. Um, so let's drill down to get more information. And I can do that through the client session details. I can also see if he's roamed. Um, so as he's walking into the facility, he's connecting to different access points. Again, color coded if there's ever an issue with association, authentication, DHCP. And if I want to drill down for more information, I can. So I can get very specific his response time for his PSK authentication. So again, it's more progressive disclosure. We show you the high level information first. And if you want to get more, you can move through the system. Now let's see what types of applications he's been running over the past 24 hours. Uh, let's see. So Salesforce, that's good. So he's been logging in, checking on all the deals that are coming in. Uh, eBay might be selling some things. Um, AOL, is, he's old school. He still has an AOL uh, email address. Tumblr, let's see, Pinterest is getting creative, and MySpace, I don't even know if that's still a thing. Um, so top, top 10, so I can see kind of what, what he's doing. And now based on what I see, I could actually go and make application rules to potentially block him from using those applications, or at least throttle him down. Uh, maybe I want to give him Salesforce priority. So if he's logged into Salesforce, he's not going to have any issues connecting to the network. So again, this is a really great tool to quickly assess what an individual user is doing on the network. And based on what I see, I can then go into configuration and potentially make changes. So I'm going to close that. I won't pick on anyone else during, during this session. Now you guys are all probably going and shutting your phones off so I can't open anything else up. Um, last thing I want to show you here is your cloud. So you've heard a lot of talks again about machine learning, AI, it all depends on data. So your cloud is a really great snapshot. One of the things I always like to end a demo on is showing, again, one look into some of our data centers. So this is anonymized traffic. It's not specific to any one location or a particular network user. But this shows me things like the aggregate daily data traffic. Right now, it's sitting at about 3.7 petabytes of traffic daily that's moving through this cloud instance. Um, Abby mentioned the kind of comparison to HD video. This is almost 50 years of HD video that we're processing daily through the cloud. So again, we have so many data points that we can use to create those ML benchmarks and then utilize that to optimize performance or connectivity. Current active clients, a uh, little over 1.4 billion. Number of service clients per day sitting at over 7 billion. Management events per day sitting over 3 billion. So that means people that are making changes to their network. And again, by, by analyzing all of those data points and looking at what people are doing and, and what effect it's having on the network, that's how we're able to generate so much intelligence through this platform. I can also see things like the number of managed devices right now, PPSK users, which is a patented authentication mechanism that Arrowhive brought over to Extreme, admin logins per day. And I can also look at generally what types of devices are utilizing the cloud, the channel bandwidth usage, connection distribution, if it's wired or wireless on one of the spectrums. So there's a lot of information and intelligence that's rolling up into this platform. Again, the, the data I was showing you was from this particular partner conference. 
um, but you can have your personal networks in here, your customer networks in here. They can grant you access as an external admin as well. So you can go in and do troubleshooting or make changes to the network and further add value to, to your customers without having to be on site. And that, again, is all powered by the cloud. So again, this was supposed to just be a kind of teaser demo. I have three breakout sessions later today. Um, I think over in the Achilles room, they're going to be 30-minute sessions to walk you through getting registered for an account and then show you more information about the portal and how to get more comfortable walking through the different tabs. So I'm going to call it at this. I think we're going to break. Um, but thank you guys so much for having me.